Alana Moran. This is Sean O'Neill, Josephine Merlehan and Ethan Mannion. Our product is Zip It and it's used to zip up and down the backs of dresses and other garments. I'm now going to do a demonstration. Hi, my name is Sean Scanlon. I'm a design student at GMIT Lafayette and this is my product, Keypad. Keypad is a new and simple way of storing your keys, keep them organised, keep them together. Simply slot the key in, in, the, in the slot. It's easily stored and displayed for everyone to see. My name is Gala Tommaso from Project Gala and I've brought my prototype BAMs, beeswax BAMs and vegan BAMs. I've also brought my Irish World Flower Seed Mix which encourages bees and pollen and wax production. Um, I have an orange BAM, a beard BAM um, and I've brought an example of different waxes and um, different beeswax. And I use camelina oil from Newgrange, single beeswax, and the seeds were developed in court. Hello, my name is Ronnie Kennedy. This is my colleague here at the head. And we're going to talk to you about our product, our livestock immobiliser. So what it is, is an adjustable collar that can be placed around a bull at an animal's neck. And the farmer has a small device, similar to a remote control, that he or she could put around their own neck. And whenever the farmer feels at risk, he can use this control to give an electric shock to the animal. And the electric shock the animal uh, will receive will be dependent on its weight and size. So it'll work efficiently and effectively so the farmer can feel safe and secure at the farm. Uh, hi, my name is Nicola Finn. This is Kayleigh Madden and this is Rachel Healy. We're in the Goa campus of GMIT studying business and information systems. Our product is called Watch Out. Uh, it's basically uh, an accessory for a smartwatch to do with diabetics or um, parents with young children. Uh, the reason it's to do with both diabetics and parents with young children is it's got a panic button on it. Which for young children, if they're lost or anything, they just press the panic button. Sends their GPS location to uh, their three emergency contacts. So say your mom, your dad and your sister or someone like that. So they can find them straight away if they're lost. So it's pretty handy for kids like that. Uh, the reason it's to do with diabetics is it's got a hollow compartment here which contains a boiled sweet which is known to be a fix or a quick fix for diabetics. Hi, my name is Philip and this is my partner Alan. Um, and together our idea, our, our idea is uh, the squeezy brush. So essentially we came about with the idea as both of us were, uh, do a lot of travelling and we keep forgetting either the toothpaste or the toothbrush. So essentially the squeezy brush um, combines the two into one. So it's a travel brush that holds the toothpaste at the bottom a granulated element in the middle and the thumb uh, piece and it's squeezed up through the bristles at the top to ensure a fresh brush every time. Uh, so really our target market is our uh, travel pe people around the go, uh, people on the move, people that may be uh, bound in hospital or driving lorries or stuff that need to freshen up quickly. My, I suppose my entrepreneurship story started you know, in school here in Castlebar in St. Charles College. Uh, I don't know why or where, but it was in my it was in my blood. It wasn't necessarily my family. My mother worked in the hospital just up here, and dad worked in what was called telecom air, now called air, as far as I'm aware. And um, I um, I was at school, and I just wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to run a business, and um, you know I was big into football. But yet, yeah, when I used to do PE, people used to wear Man United jerseys, Liverpool jerseys in. I used to have Niall McGarry Enterprises as my sponsor on my own custom-made jersey. Um, so it was probably a sign of things to come and uh, I, at that stage I used to do a lot of different things. So my dad was taking retirement, early retirement from Telecom Aaron, um, and I, he used to grow pumpkins like literally just near McHale Park there and uh, he used to be big into them so I used to encourage him to grow more pumpkins because I used to see that at Halloween there was a great opportunity to sell them to Country Fresh and I, at 14 probably became the largest wholesaler of pumpkins in uh, Castlebar, Westport and Ballina. Uh, it wasn't great for my street cred but um, you know, it, it was actually a really good little learner. And uh, then I used to do a variety of different things. Again, I used to um, sell uh, cans of Coke and crates of sweets at the local Mayo matches. Oh, I used to run a car park as well at the local Mayo matches. Again, 13, 14, 15. So I never had a job during school, but I always was quite well financed because I just loved the idea of working myself and making money. We've grown to a staff of uh, 75 here in Dublin. Um, at last count, but we're hiring probably two or three people a week because we have 42 jobs over the next 12 months that we announced at the start of the year on RTE News. Um, and we're hiring about three, three a week at this stage and then that might 
temper down as the, as the year goes on. And then in the UK, we've about 40, so about 125 staff altogether.